guys, good morning and welcome back to a brand new renovation vlog. I have been documenting the progress since the last renovation vlog. I'm going to compile it into a video today to bring you up to speed with where we are at. We've made quite big progress in terms of obviously working on the basement and the extension and we're also moving quite quickly moving forward so we'll probably have more regular updates coming very very soon so make sure to subscribe if you're a fan of the renovation vlogs and hit the notification bell so you can be notified each time I do upload one. I am also kind of keeping you guys posted a lot more regularly in real time over on my Instagram homework account. So I'm going to take you back to uh, basically where I left you guys at my previous renovation vlog. I do have a whole playlist if you're new to my channel want to catch up and be up to speed with all of the progress that we have made so far with this house and we do have a kind of deadline. I'm going to put it out here on this channel so that it's put out there. I've said it. So we're aiming to complete the, at least the house part, maybe not the garden and the external work, but at least the internal house section this year before Christmas. Hopefully October, as early as October would be ideal for us in our situation with mortgage and everything. But um, definitely, by Christmas. I'm saying it, I'm saying it. There we go, it said, it said. Before I go back in time to share with you guys the progress that we have made, I do very kindly have a sponsor for today's video and it is a new discovery that has helped with my sleep so much. I'm the sort of person that gets quite a lot of tension in the back of my neck and shoulders and back and it's probably to do with this. Constantly either looking at my phone looking at my laptop, sat on my leg, and I'm just constantly like this. So I really struggle to find good pillows that are comfortable. So I have discovered this newfound love for the Omnia pillow from Sleep and Glow. Now this is just one of a couple of different styles that they've got on their website. So I guess depending on how you sleep, I personally am mostly a side sleeper, sometimes back. This is the one that I have gone for. It has been so comfortable. So not only is it supportive on my neck and helping with tension and everything there, it's also great for your skin, your hair, it's really gentle. If you look at a regular kind of standard pillow, it kind of squishes up your face quite a lot. Whereas with the Omnia pillow, you can just rest your head and your face isn't affected like a regular pillow would be with it all being squished up together. This is what it looks like. It's got the zipper at the back. It's kind of like a hidden zipper actually. Super, super soft, silky to the touch pillowcase. It has the um, sections on both sides if you change over, change sides in the night, which I personally do. And then again, if you do then roll onto your back, it's got the supportive part here and here for your neck. It allows your skin to breathe. It is um, reducing the kind of appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's essentially an anti-aging pillow that also reduces puffiness as well. So if that's something that you suffer with, try this out. It also, I mean, I'm like cuddling it now. It also has like an orthopedic effect, you know, when you press it in and it molds to your shape. And then it also has an extra um, layer within the pillow which just allows for kind of height transition if you prefer to sleep with a bit of a lower pillow or higher up. So for the affordability and the price you do not compromise at all on the quality. Well worth trying out honestly. I have been loving this so comfortable. So I will leave a link to uh, the Omnia pillow below to Sleep and Glow if you want to check out their other range of products as well. I do also have a promo code for $10 off your purchase. You can use the code FREYA10. Thank you to Sleep and Glow not only for sponsoring today's video but also for changing the game when it comes to sleeping on my neck and back it's honestly made a world of difference so thank you to them and now let's take it back to when we last left you guys at my previous renovation vlog with the kind of basement updates primarily so yeah let's jump into the older footage and i will talk you through our plans and everything current day at the end of the video Woohoo! 
So jumping straight into things after sharing with you Barney's new favourite toy that I bought from Amazon. The first thing that I wanted to share with you is obviously the major digging out. We had so much soil come out of the ground for the trenches that will be the new footings that wrap all the way around the back and the side which obviously we fill with concrete and then start building upon so that the foundations are well within the ground and they did also just prop up this supported uh, bit of soil because as you can see it started collapsing in which is a little bit scary so they just boarded it up for our safety and then filled it in with concrete which in a couple of days time after this clip which you will see now I um, showed you the concrete that you can see at the very corner of the property they just did the external pinning underpinning there just to help support that with some additional concrete so again more structures were put in place with these wooden kind of shutters to be able to be all ready for the delivery of the concrete and let me tell you there was a lot and then down in the basement they have carried on prepping and lining all the walls with this um, lining which you can see here they attach it to the wall obviously two pack if you know you know team mascot looking on from the sidelines and this is the sump pump there's two of them they allow any excess moisture to be pumped out of the building keeping this space nice and damp free and dry we have some samples i thought i would talk you through them <laughs> try to help myself decide so hello barney oh if you just dribbled on me that was lovely thanks for that we have some samples for both brick and flooring for downstairs so we need to make some decisions now we've got all the different kind of um suppliers on them so travis perkins um mkm all the different bricks i quite like the texture of this one which has um this is kind of like the same same company same price it's actually one of the cheaper ones and uh yeah so i think we might end up going, we are just gonna get the builders just to get some more that are closer match to our original bricks so essentially you're gonna see the brick around the side of the kind of extension the new extension and the back of the extension the front of the house is going to be very different the majority of the front part of the extension is actually just going to be a garage so we're talking about potentially cladding it i'll pop some images on screen of what i mean by cladding there's a house not too far from us that have done it and every time we drive past them we always look at it and think we could do that we could do that so that might be something within the pipeline but anyway for now we're deciding between bricks and this brand i feel like because of the different textures and colors it feels quite a good match for our current bricks so anyway the other flooring samples that i've got the other flooring samples the other samples that i've got are flooring for down in the basement now we have um loads of different samples from firm fit flooring which essentially if you go on their website it's really really useful they have like a visualizer tool whereby you can pop an image of your room so for instance i took a photo of the basement one of the rooms it's not the best lighting it's not the best picture yet the flooring is superimposed onto it and it really helped me visualize and decide which one I've gone for. I say decide because I do think I have made my decision. These were my top three, but I'll show you all of them. They were all very similar in price point, I'm not gonna lie. And um, so it wasn't really, price wasn't really a deciding factor. It was more the, the look and the feel and everything like that. So I essentially picked a whole range of different samples. So we went from all the way down to like a, a cool toned gray, right up to a warmer toned wood and a darker wood so this is lvt it's a sort of click system which you'll see actually because i am going to vlog the whole process of me installing this i am actually going to be down in the basement installing it so you can see what it looks like and how easy it is to do yourself if you want to um, some of them as well come in both a herringbone and a plank style so this one for instance has the option to go herringbone if that is what you wanted to or the standard plank now i um ruled out this one because i thought it was very orangey i also for the opposite reason ruled out this one because i thought it looked very gray these two are a very close match to our top floor so this is the sort of color that we maybe threw out 
this ground floor that's the sort of color that we're going to aim for so for down in the basement i thought let's go wild card let's go dark we go really light walls i.e bright brilliant white down there and a um a utility cabinets and everything quite again light and bright like worktops we're gonna have like a nice white sink in there maybe like a belfast sink or something so i thought let's go dark flooring for aesthetic but also for practicality so with one of the rooms being a gym equipment on the floor maybe trainers on the floor um one of the rooms being a storage room aka boxes christmas decorations all stuff like that the other room being the utility, muddy pores, dirty washing, etc, etc. I actually thought it might be more practical to go darker. So between these two, these are the darkest. I also did like the texture in this one. This one is, you can search all their colour codes. This one's EW2960 and um, it's from the Boutique Plank range. You can see a lot more texture running through this one with the lighter kind of um almost aged look to this one whereas this one's a lot smoother it's also a, a wider plank this one obviously you can this one you can do herringbone which is something we were thinking about but we are going to definitely do herringbone throughout the ground floor utility room i'm thinking maybe just sticking with plank these are the samples this is the one that i've decided to go with cw1683 it does have the one millimeter cork backing which is great as well makes it waterproof so this is going to run throughout the entire downstairs flooring and now i've just had the basement guys start drilling down there i feel like that's my cue to to just grab myself a coffee have a bit of a break party's having a break behind me first fix electrics are happening down there right now we've got the electrician on site so we've just gone through i've just basically told him exactly where we want all of the sockets and switches and the down lights as well spotlights so yeah it's all got systems go and who knows hopefully we'll be able to start using it in a couple of months i mean i did get a bit of a shock not gonna lie Tom told me, oh, by the way, you know we're not going to have access to running water in the kitchen. <laughs> so, because <laughs> of the way the plumbing and everything needs to work downstairs, it means that we are going to be a month or so without any dishwasher, sink, a tap, running water in the kitchen, washing machine. So we're going to have to either be boring friends and fans families washing machines or just popping over to a laundrette close by uh, we're not gonna have we are gonna have fridge fridge freezer thank god because all of barney's food is in the freezer uh, so we still have electrics it's just water so that's gonna be interesting it's gonna be a bit of a challenge i feel like it can't be as hard of a challenge as it was when we were doing the upstairs and living without a bathroom for about three months and having to go to the gym every day to shower so yeah, I feel like we have made it through the worst of it. And I say that with hope because we're yet to have an entire gaping hole in the side of this property, which will be the steel being put in for the extension. So who knows how far off we are that. That's probably the next renovation vlog, who knows? Ooh, scary times ahead. I'm enjoying the process. I don't know how I'm coping. People keep saying, oh my God, how are you living in? What's doing it? I've always said from the get go, keep calm and carry on that's my motto that is what i'm going with it's working so far like i said i feel like we've got through the worst of it with doing the upstairs and that just being a dust cloud down here whilst we were living down here and we had a puppy at the time as well getting a puppy that was after some of the works actually that we got the puppy the puppy barney anyway he's snoozing right i am going to make myself a coffee chill out take you outside give you an update another update plenty of updates <laughs> look how the builders have got a little set up for lunch that's so cute so they do cordon this area off once they go the builders but today was day one it's a bit windy out here so you might not be able to hear me properly but day one of pouring all of the concrete so this is it's all been poured in the new foundations and what will be the supporting parts of the extension of the property it is a back 
and side extension so you can see it goes all the way around there and then the basement this kind of area here will all be open for steps down into the basement and a little storage area as well to the right so yeah that is day one's progress of pouring the concrete and let me tell you there was probably about four or five lorries worth of concrete delivered to be poured so it's a lot so as you can see the concrete having been poured runs all the way around the side and the back and yeah it's looking a little bit of a mess but the concrete yeah it, it does get a little bit messy i'm not gonna lie and then here you oh, can I'm see coming. tom showing his muscles off i tried to do the same these blocks are incredibly heavy Ready to move in, mate. Then back down in the basement, again, we just had another walkthrough of where the guys were at lining the walls and adding in the kind of drains and then filling it. I think it was with like a limestone rubble on the floor just for the drainage purposes. I'm not 100% sure. I should probably find that out. But this is the name of the liner thing that goes on the wall, this waterproof membrane. And this is the second sump pump, which is in the corner of what will be the gym. And again, it just kind of shows here the white piping, which runs up and along the ceiling and out of the building to allow any kind of moisture to gather within that sump pump. And we only really needed one, but we added a second just for that extra kind of backup if one were to fail. And also if we were to have excess damp down there, it would just help out by having the second one. Then outside, back out there, they have continued digging more soil to allow to start building the staircase down into the gym. And then this kind of long rectangular shape is what will be the patio, the first line from the house is where the extension goes out to. Then more concrete, again, another further delivery. This one is for within the floor. Now this is a slightly different one. It got pumped through this tube into the floor and this one has like fibers within it to help with insulation which runs throughout. It only took a couple of days to dry and set before the timber delivery was unloaded and the timber starting to line the walls and starting to take form whilst outside the walls were also taking form. Definitely now with the structure and the division between the bathroom and the utility, you can see that this big open space has started to become two individual spaces, one being the bathroom, one being the utility. And we've also had some bricks removed from the front of the house to include a brand new window, which will just allow some natural light to filter through into what will be that kind of comms storage room. Then back outside, again, you can see the wall is starting to take shape, starting to be built before we have yet again another concrete delivery. This time it was for the footwell and the bottom part of what will be the stairs leading into the basement. That one will also have a bit of a storage area as well. Then we also had more concrete poured on what will be the flooring of the garage. This is a kind of aerial view, just so you can see that long rectangular shape, what will be the patio. And then back down into the basement, we have had some shelves built, which will be put into the alcoves and make use of that space. We didn't want it just boarded up, of course. Eyes always on us, Tupac is watching wherever we go. He is the team mascot down there. And then we'll also have cabinet doors added onto this as well, this area where all the kind of wires and everything like that is hidden behind the fuse boxes and everything like that. And then the electrics you can see there has all been done, all that first fix electrics is all sorted. I'm not gonna lie, this utility room is the one I'm most excited for. Just come upstairs to my bedroom and I thought I would share this with you actually because we've slightly changed up an area in the basement which I've not really kind of documented down there. We only recently just decided this, so they haven't built it yet, but that'll probably in the, be in the next renovation vlog. 
But so down in the basement, um, obviously at the minute we're kind of entering in through here into what will be the utility. This is not going to have a door, so that's one thing that's changed. It's going to be a straight walk through because it's quite a narrow doorway. Um, same with this area, it was quite a narrow doorway into this kind of media comms room. So we've decided we're going to add a door here instead. This part will be open and then this is going to have a ledge in here for storage. Might keep like cleaning supplies and stuff in there. I don't know why the door's opening that way. I think that was Tom that wrote that by accident. The door will open against the wall. So yeah, rather than have this area exposed, which we were thinking about doing some kind of maybe sauna area or something here, um, it just means, or the main reason why we switched that up was because this area here, because of the underpinning, it means that all of these walls that you look at are going to come quite far into the room because the underpinning the concrete under all these walls is thicker than the foundations obviously we then have to board against the new kind of concrete i hope that makes sense so anyway this area it's made it quite tight so our builders would have had to build some kind of entryway here to get into to then have a door into the room because of this area being so narrow. So, to scrap that, this area is quite wide, so we're gonna have a nice big door opening up into a full storage room. This one's gonna have a lot of kind of media boards that you might have been able to see from the footage that were, they were building a kind of like media board and um, also going to be building some cupboards to kind of enclose it shut. And then this area, we've had the shelves built again with doors on just to have I don't know I, I think it, at the top of it we're going to have like amp and sockets and stuff for the electrics and then below it maybe just I don't know boxes of random bits and bobs that you usually would have maybe in a garage or a drawer in a kitchen like nails batteries all sorts of stuff like that that's what I'm thinking for that cupboard anyway and then storage throughout the rest of the room for like Christmas decorations suitcases etc etc and then yeah it would free up this area to house maybe all of our cleaning supplies and because uh, we don't really have a dedicated area to that. I just thought maybe it'd be in the utility somewhere or something. But actually, this is going to be a well-loved room. And it's going to be a little bit snugger than I thought it was going to be. So that frees that space up perfectly for that. Um, we are going to have a uh, like units built in here. That sink is actually going to go here. And then here is going to be a stacked washer-dryer sink and then um over this side we're going to have a kind of dog wash station so this little drawing that we had was for the electrician that we did we kind of drew on where we wanted all of the spotlights these are sockets and these are switches so yeah that is the utility walkway through into um again under storage under stair storage which we think we're going to build a kind of shelf display for like wine a kind of under stair wine cellar type situation this bathroom is fairly big actually it's hard to see on the plans here blocked up this window as well keep the toilet waste there sink over there and the shower unit here i think we're not really that set on where it goes it's just where it's most convenient really for the plumber to sort all that out and then into here we have obviously the gym, a nice big square blank canvas room. All of these alcoves won't really be there anymore because of the underpinning. We've just kind of leveled it all out, make it straight, made it straight, I should say. Um, but there, there are areas, I don't know if we've done it in this room, I can't remember, but we've definitely done it in this room and obviously the shelves here where we've kind of built a little uh, cabinet type space to utilise some of the space that's just not wasted. But anyway, they are our plans and uh, yeah, that's probably going to conclude this renovation vlog. So I hope you have enjoyed this renovation vlog. It's been a bit here there and everywhere as it always is with these renovation updates and um having to do like voiceovers and stuff and also having to time around when builders are here because with the basement we obviously only have access to that when the builders are here because they lock it all up themselves externally when they obviously go home 
I can't then go in there at the end of the day and show you their progress because we can't get into the basement. There's no staircase from inside the house into the basement anymore, which obviously you guys have seen. Staircase has been measured up though. That is being ordered and built on site. Things are moving forward as well, obviously with the extension as you guys have seen. So I'm sure we'll have more updates more often now moving forward especially into the summer months so stay tuned for more if that's something that you think you'd be interested in i would love it if you would stick around and subscribe and then just hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i have a new renovation vlog uploaded so that's going to conclude today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching thank you so much to sleep and glow for very kindly sponsoring today's video and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys